Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Ant coming to you live here from my home here in Dallas, Texas. Hey, hoping everybody's having a blessed day. But hey, as you're coming on in, feel free to let me know where you're tuned in from. I'm going to get kicked off here in just a second. I'm going to let Facebook let everybody know I'm live here, and we're going to get rolling here. Today, I, Today's topic is going to be about becoming a good listener. Becoming a good listener. I believe everybody in their endeavor needs to, uh, you know, hear this topic. So, hey, let me know where you're tuned in from. Let me know what part of the country, what part of the world. If you're catching a replay, let me know. If you're catching it live, let me know. Hey, hoping everybody's having a blessed Tuesday or a blessed day if you're watching a recording from another day. Hoping everybody's just having a blessed day, period. We're going to get kicked off here in just a second, you guys. And we're going to get rocking and rolling. Topic, become a good listener. Become a good listener. I believe everybody needs this. So, hey, let me let me know. Let me know. Let me know. All right, y'all. We're going to get kicked off here. Like always, I love to start off with a question. So, the question today, you guys, for everybody is, do you spend more time talking or do you spend more time listening? And I want you to ask yourself that. And I want you to think about it. As you sit there and think about what what that question hits for and how it hits you. Because a lot of times I see more people willing to talk and, you know, reply to something than actually sitting there to listen to somebody to understand. Now, I'm not saying you listen to all the gossip and everything like that, but I'm talking about somebody that's actually talking about something. You know, listening to a friend mope and cry about something, that's totally different than listening to somebody that has some information for you that that maybe it's a job or something you're applying for. So it's a difference between being a good listener and a bad listener. You know, a good listener is somebody that's going to listen to understand something. And a bad listener is, is really somebody who's listening to reply to something. You know, they're listening to you just so they can throw their business or opportunity at you. Instead of listening to you to understand what what's going on, how you're trying to, uh, you know, want to better you and your family. And I do have some tips here in just a second I'm going to share. It's three good tips I believe that can help everybody out become a better listener. And see, I believe when once you start to become a better listener, everything in life will get better for you. Whether it be your business, whether it be your job, whether it be in school, whether it be, you know, in your relationship, whatever it is, I believe, believe, I believe becoming a better listener is always, is always important. See, being a better listener shows the person opposite to you or the or the people that's talking to you respect. See, people, this is for business, this is for all my business people out there. This is, you know, people don't care what you have or any of that. They don't want to do business with you until they know that you care. Show people that you care by listening to them. I promise you, your sales will go up in whatever business it is in your life. That's for all my business entrepreneurs out there. I encourage you to become a better listener. Listen to your customers. Listen to uh, you know, listen to the to the positive feedback. Listen to those type things. Listen to some of the the things to grow, and I promise you, you will start to have more sales. But like I did mention. I do have three tips, and I believe if you get good at these three tips, it's the secret to you having success in whatever endeavor it is in your life. So these three tips, tip number one, you guys, tip number one, when somebody is sharing something with you, or maybe you're at an interview, or maybe, you know, they're sharing a business opportunity with you, or maybe your car salesman is somebody's coming in to purchase a car. Whatever it is, you guys, tip number one is pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. And when I say pay attention, when you pay attention to that person that's at, you're at the job interview and you're paying attention, you had at a business opportunity and they're sharing something with you that can help you and your family out. Or you're a car salesman, somebody's coming in and they're looking to get a new car. 
when you pay attention, you guys, that is how you can take whatever it is and help somebody out. And you can help somebody out with it. How? Well, what happens is they come in, they're explaining to you. I'll give you an example. We'll use the car dealership, you know. They come in, they tell you what kind of car they're looking for, what type. They don't know what they're looking for, but they, they explain it. And you listening to what they have, li- listening, listening, you guys, you're listening to whatever's coming out their mouth about the type of car that, or truck or whatever it is that they want. Now, in your mind, you're visualizing it. And now you can take that and put it to a picture form. You can show them something that that fits their description. And when you can show them something that fits their description, guess what? You got something. Now you have the opportunity of possibly making a sale. Why? Because you first you listen to them. So tip number two would be, in some cases, for some people this may work, some people it may not, but I encourage everybody to do this, is to take notes. Quit trying to remember everything up here in your head. Get a piece of paper. Take notes. Okay, so you're looking for this. Or if you got your phone handy, go to your notes and show them that, hey, you're not texting or, or you know, you, you, you're giving them your undivided attention. You're just taking notes. That shows a person that you really care. Tip, tip, that's a tip for everybody. You want you want more sales in your business? You want more sales? You want to, uh, you know, get hired on at more jobs? You want your professors at school to show you, you know, give you more of their time? Well, show them respect by taking good notes. Take notes while you're listening to somebody. Maybe you're an entrepreneur. Maybe you're in network marketing. You're talking to a friend. You're catching up with them. Well, take notes. So you can show them how your opportunity can help them out. See, I'm giving tips to everybody out there. Take notes. And tip number three. This is the third tip number three, you guys. Give feedback. Give feedback. So, same example, you know, you're a car salesman and somebody's, you know, coming in, sharing what type of car they're looking for. They don't know what they're looking for, but you're taking notes of it. You know, they gave you what, what they like. Well, now, give feedback. Let them know. Give them some feedback. You know, even if it's, you know, what they like, you know, not what you like about it, but off based off what they said, give them feedback. Even if the opportunity isn't for you, you gave feedback. You let them know, like, hey, that is great, but X, Y, and Z. Whatever it may be that you that you, when you're listening to. So tip number one, pay attention when somebody's talking. The reason why is because you can find out what's going like for my network marketers out there. You can find out what's going on in somebody's life by just paying attention, taking notes, and then giving feedback about some different things that they can do. Car salesman, same thing. Instead of just trying to sell somebody a car and trying to force them into a car. You giving them feedback. I mean, you're paying attention to what kind of car they want, and giving them feedback of different options that they have. So that's kind of where I'm where I'm going with that, you guys. There is so many people that talk. I mean that that listen to that listen to pretty much reply instead of listening to understand what a person wants, you guys. And so. That was my tips for y'all. I just wanted to come over here and, and encourage everybody to become a better listener. Become a better listener in your life and to the people around you. And, to the, and I promise you, you will start to see more success. Don't listen to the intent to reply. Listen to the intent to understand. And then it will make more sense. And I promise you, that's, the sec- that's one of the key secrets to having success in whatever endeavor it is in your life. When you become a better listener, you can find out what a person is and then you can meet them there. But hey, that's all I have for you guys. I want to come on here, share that quick tip with you guys. Well, quick tips on how to become a better listener. So I hope y'all have a great and blessed one. Oh, somebody's at the door, so I got to roll, you guys. But hope y'all have a good one. Peace out. I'll see y'all next time.